hello friends so in this video we are going to see how we can communicate between the quarkus app and the rabbit mq okay so here we have two app one is quarkus consumer and one is quarkus emitter okay we have these two app so let's open the emitter app so from emitter app we will send messages to the queue okay so to send messages first you have to add this dependency okay quarkus small ray reactive messaging rabbit mq dependency okay then you have to uh, give the channel name what you want to so channel is the basically the queue name so at the rate channel the channel name we will keep quarkus hyphen rabbit mq okay so this is the queue name and what we will do is we will so take emitter m i t t r emitter so emitter will tell what kind of message you want to emit so you want to emit json object okay so emitter so it's done here then emitter dot send messages so what we will do is json object obj equal to new json object so we will just put a message put hello just hello while we will keep right just for sending purpose then we will send the obj okay so we are sending here so along with that we have to just give this basically rapid mq detail okay so this is the local host port and guest and we have to give the outgoing messaging detail so this is the our basically rabbit mq and this should be the same basically okay I think it will be same only so this is done so emitter side so is done so now it the application is ready to send messages to the rabbit mq q okay now let's go to our consumer app okay so in the consumer app let's create a class Revit MQ consumer. Okay. So consumer should be at the rate application scope. Okay. So here we will say at the rate incoming. Okay. So incoming Q name. Okay. So public void public void uh, JSON object okay message is coming we will public void uh, process messages okay method name process then any method name you can take now we will just log the message quarkus logging dot info gen then message dot to string okay so we are printing the message here so before this we have to 
so this app will run on application this one so we have to do the same thing diameter what we did so let's copy and the consumer also paste okay so this is the rabbit mq detail this is this one in case of outgoing incoming okay and here we have to again give the dependency so we are done now let's see the rabbit mq so here there is that quarkus rabbit mq queue is not there so once we run this will start so let's run the emitter for any so let's run okay run the consumer also so in the quarkus app whatever queue will give right so that queue will automatically be get created in the rabbit mq so if you see go here this place it has not been created yet so after this app start it will automatically get created so okay what it is saying oh so we have to here basically give one more q name let's check basically yeah q name only we have to give so let's run again hopefully now it should not complain yeah it's successful now so let's clear and let's check here so this has been created already running ideal okay so let's send a message so local host here we sent a message then let's check here the hello world message is coming in the consumer so it's simple one so just you have to write a emitter when you send first you configure in the properties file then just a channel and the emitter and sending and in the consumer side it's simple only just incoming and the queue name and one method and the same configuration you have to do here okay so that's all so thanks friends thanks for watching